video is going to walk you through the steps you need to know to graph points from a table. I'm going to walk you through two examples. The first, we plot in points from a table where you know x and y values already. The second example, we'll plot points from a table where you have to solve an equation. Let's get started. Here you will see the x and y axis and the grid lines for our coordinate plane. The origin is located in the bottom left hand corner, so our first table is going to be located in quadrant 1, which means both our x and y values are positive. You will see a table with x and y values listed here. These represent the coordinates for the points that we will graph in our coordinate plane. Let's look at the first one. x is 1, y is 2. Starting at the origin, we move over to the right one space and move up the y-axis 2. Here is the point for our first set of coordinates. The second entry in our table has x at 3 and y is 4. Moving the same way as the first example, we move to the right 3 and then up 4. The third entry has x at a value of 5 and y at a value of 6. We move to the right 5 places and move up 6 and plot our point here. Finally, the last one, x is 7, y is 8. Move over 7 places to the right, move up 8 more spaces. Here's our point. Now, that's pretty straightforward, but let's look at a table a different way, when the x and y values are part of a linear equation. Don't worry, it's not that difficult. Let's walk through an example now. This table states that x plus 2 equals y. The first thing we want to do is fill out the values in our table. Once we have our values calculated for the table, we can plot just as we did in the first example. Let's look at the first x value, which is 2. If we were to plug 2 into our equation of x plus 2 equals y, we can see that 2 plus 2 equals 4. So our y value in the table is 4. Next line has a table with x with a value of 3. Again, plug 3 into our equation. 3 plus 2 equals 5. Our y value is 5. Last one, x value is equal to 4, and we know 4 plus 2 equals 6, so y is 6 in our table. Now that we have our values laid out, we can plot them on the graph just as we did in the first example. These numbers are all positive, so we're staying in quadrant one of our coordinate plane. Our first set of coordinates are 2 and 4. We move to the right two spaces and then up 4. We plot that point here. Next set of coordinates, 3 and 5. We move to the right 3 and up 5. This is the point that they meet, so here's where we plot our coordinate. And finally, plot 4 and 6. Move over to the right 4 and up another 6. That's it for plotting points on a graph from a table. If you found the video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. If there are any other math topics you'd like to see videos on, please drop me a comment. Thanks so much for watching.